the, the games were an outgrowth of, uh, of, of a thought that I had uh, five, ten years ago. Um, I was working in Arabia. I was designing a national sports program while I was working as a physician in Saudi Arabia. Uh, I was out to my, my, the corporation I worked for. They knew that I was a gay male, um, and we had an understanding about that. I was never afraid of embarrassing them in any way, and, and it was a very nice working relationship. Um, but it occurred to me at that time that uh, many of the people that I encountered, both uh, in the corporation I worked for, as well as Arabs and other people that I would meet traveling around, that the, the attitudes and the ideas and the stereotypes that they held about gay people were really totally in inaccurate. At least it wasn't consistent with what I knew of the community, not that I was so heavily involved in the community, although I believed I was. So when I finished a, uh, a, a program in Saudi Arabia, I came back to San Francisco and I began to get involved in sports right away. I started bowling and playing softball. Um, and we had an awards dinner. And uh, this was the first year they'd given an award for the outstanding gay male athlete. Well, I don't think I was the outstanding gay male athlete. But my, my history of having competed in the Olympics, I'm sure, swayed them to, to make the presentation to someone who, who at least had some kind of a reputation. In any case, uh, I got up at the award ceremony and I said, wouldn't it be great if the city of San Francisco uh, had a, a gay Olympics and invited the rest of the world? And everyone stood up and raised their hands and began cheering. I thought, my God. Well, I had to follow up on that.